Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Point Fifty Tracer and I'll be showing you how I am going to insulate the bed on my Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. Now the first thing to do would be to actually remove the bed so we can see what we're working with. Now it does come with this little Allen key, but I went ahead and I picked up a set of Allen keys from the hardware store. Now, let's see. First try. Should make it a bit faster. Okay, let's see. We have wires. It appears to be some sort of electrical component. Probably what tests the temperature of the print bed. Now, I did pick up some uh, cork, cork sheets from my local hobby store. Um or craft store, I guess you could say. These are what I'll be using to insulate the bed. So, let's see. There we go. Now that should fit the bottom of the build plate. There we go. These come in about half an inch from each corner. Now the reason I'm insulating the bed is so that less heat will escape and it won't take as much power to heat it and maintain that temperature. So it's just a general good thing to have as an insulated bed. And I'm using cork because it won't be affected by the heat but it's also very insulative. Okay, now that that is in, everything fits good. Time to put the uh, little adjustment things back in. And then I'll have to readjust the bed. Make sure it's level. Turn it on, move, tell it to go to home axis.
There we go. Perfect fit. Now, let's tighten it up a little bit first. Move X axis. Okay, I can already tell that we're going to need to go down a little bit. Okay, we've run into a bit of a snag. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, what I did, I went and I found myself a sheet of cardboard a little bit thinner than the piece of cork that I was using. And this cardboard I'm using for the bottom layer so it's away from the actual heated build plate and won't experience as much um, heat. Now, I went, I cut it out to the same shape as the bottom piece of cork and put it back in. One thing to um, take note is that the insulation does not um, apply any pressure on the print surface and it moves around freely underneath but you also don't want a big gap between it and the print surface. So the reason you don't want it actually um, applying any pressure on the print surface is because you do not want it to cause the print surface to bow up in the center, which would kind of mess up the um, prints. And I've gone ahead and um, leveled the platform as well as I preheated it to see how fast it preheated. And it was a significant um, increase in how fast it heated. So that is essentially how I have insulated the build plate on my Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back to see my next videos. So, Point .50 Tracer, signing off. If you like my videos, feel free to hit the like button. If you really like them and want to see more, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And yeah, thank you. Goodbye.